Just came back from lunch, so I just want to make sure that I've got some time before my next patient. Yeah, we do. Righty, welcome back to the channel everybody. Or if you're new, welcome to the channel. I am James, a sports musculoskeletal physiotherapist in central London in the UK. I do miss filming these vlogs for you guys. If you know me, I'm a huge fan of videography, cinematography, photography, all that jazz and being able to combine both my passions physio and videography is so much fun so i do miss filming these vlogs for you guys and moving forward i'll be doing a lot more of these to be fair i don't like uh, sit down videos too much uh, maybe i'll be filming one or two here and there for sure but what i want to do is take you guys along with me throughout my day and i'll be giving you guys some advice and education on how to, how to move better, feel better and get out of pain. So for today, I'll be spilling some tea about a very popular topic, posture during exercise. So what do we think? Is there a perfect form for an exercise or does that vary from person to person? So far today, I treated about six, seven patients in the morning. Um, I think I wrote down the conditions that I treated. We have had rotator cuff tendinopathy, initial assessment, bicep tendinopathy, initial assessment, treatments for median nerve irritation, chronic neck pain, non-mechanical low back pain. Um, so I've got a few more patients left to see in the afternoon. I'm gonna finish up some notes, change into my uniform, and then yeah, take you guys along with me. It's actually my dad's birthday today as well, so see that I've still got some time, let me give them a ring. My family are all in Hong Kong, so um, it's about, 3 plus 7, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. right now. Let's see if they pick up. Hi, Ma. The vlog is back. Right, almost time. Finish up a few reports. Time to get changed. There we go. Done with the day now, gonna pack up, clean up, um, finish up some notes, and then I will head home and get changed for bouldering. For those wondering, the last two patients came with lateral ankle fracture um, from falling off the climbing wall uh, during bouldering. And then another patient came in with rhomboid pain, so sort of mid-back pain. Those are a real bugger. Um, but yeah, gonna finish up some notes, and I'll catch you in a second. Is there a perfect form for an exercise? To start with, I would say the lifting technique can vary from person to person. So let's say when you're squatting, I think people traditionally would think, oh, you know, you can't bend your back uh, because it will break your, your back. Um, you will cause an injury. You shouldn't point your toes or knees outwards or inwards, things like that. They get so, so demonized, but actually, the optimal exercise technique for everyone is different. You know, someone, something that can work for you might not work for someone else. And that's because our bodies are built differently. So things like bony structure, the size and shape of your bone, soft tissue tolerance, motor control patterns, um, and also the goal of your exercise as well. So they all determine the exercise technique that you're gonna be using. So think of exercise form as a spectrum rather than a one size fits all kind of theory. You're on. Let's do this. Any bouldering fans out there? Comment down below. Super excited for this, but we actually went for dinner earlier. So we're all quite full. Let's see. Come on, Jenny, you can do it. Your 
Oh, those long arms. Go, reach. Yes, boy. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna try the orange one. Just about, just about. So bouncing off of what I was saying this afternoon, people might ask, oh, but James, can bad form not lead to injuries? Actually, it's not always the case. It's not the technique itself, it's the technique that we're not accustomed to or we're not prepared for. Gridded exposure to varying loads and moving patterns is actually what matters the most instead of training specific techniques. So for instance, let's take squatting as an example. People always say, keep your back upright. But what's wrong with bending your back? You know, we do that all the time, all day, every day. When we're mopping the floor, cleaning, cooking, making our beds. You know, we always have to flex our back. So why don't we train in that position itself? Plus, injuries are always multifactorial. Things like training load, intensity, volume, diet, sleep, stress, all those factors come into play as well, which can increase your risk of injuries. Next time when you see someone in the gym or when you're watching a video of someone exercising and the technique looks a little bit off, maybe they're just doing what's best for them. Let me know your thoughts on this. I would really appreciate it if you guys can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I hopefully make a bit more uh, this type of content, a bit more vloggy, educational posts. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this idea.